Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a tutorial on how to paint the midsoles on a pair of Flyknit racers. Really like the black look here. I have two different versions that I'll be showing you guys, but the first one's this with the uh, jet black leather dye. And it's kind of a glossier look, but then I will do a flat black uh, paint over top of it to make it kind of a finalized look. But here's the jet black uh, leather dye. And it's important to use, use this as a first step. Uh, as the base because it will stick a little bit better um, and then also you need some leather preparer and deglazer also need some cotton balls and some nail polish remover if you need that but this is the the first thing that's important the leather preparer and deglazer and then um, basically yeah I just I really liked uh, the look of the shoes without the green I thought it would just be a better look all black you could have done white too uh, but I actually liked the uh, the green Actually, another option would have been cool, which would have been uh, the uh, the cream color that I have. But anyway, nail polish remover, as you guys know, uh, for the uh, the paintbrush, cotton balls, and then for the flat black look uh, that I'll show you guys in a second here, definitely want to use this. Link in the description if you guys need the Angelus products. Um, I'll list them out in the description for you guys, and then click the link if you guys want to go shopping. Uh, there's They have so much cool stuff on that site. Uh, you can have custom projects for, for months. Uh, so much fun. One other thing that I will mention, uh, I will have a part two to this to removing the fly wire from his from this shoe because I didn't really like the look of the fly wire with it being green and the blue upper. I uh, wanted to remove it and actually I did remove it, but I will put it in a second tutorial uh, for the sakes of uh, the videos. Uh, it was kind of like a create as I go uh, sort of thing. So pretty crazy, pretty happy the way that it ended up coming out. Uh, and this is the part one of the tutorial. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I will be posting the second one as a follow-up very soon. Um, but that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get into uh, the customization. I'm going to time-lapse parts of this. Unfortunately, I won't have an on-foot video for this one because I ended up ripping off the fly wire uh, immediately. But I will have an on-feet of the second video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But going to go ahead and get into it. Basically, you need to use the leather preparer and deglazer. And a cotton ball and you just rub it all over the midsole area that you're going to be painting basically this is making it so it will adhere to the midsole a little bit easier uh, than without using this uh, so it's definitely important to do uh, and you, you can see from doing that it actually removes some of the black paint that was already on part of the midsole which is okay you don't have to remove all of it and then you just basically throw on a layer of the uh, black uh, jet black leather dye again links in the description for those but Basically, it's it's really simple to, to paint this on, and if you like kind of a glossier look, you could actually finish uh, with this and end here and not actually have to get the uh, matte black. But I will show you a side-by-side -side of the matte black and this uh, kind of the jet black uh, in just a second after I finish both of them. But here's kind of a look. It's not dry yet, but you can see. Uh, and of course, if the carefuler you are, the better that these will end up looking. But this was uh, drying a little bit, and it's kind of an up-close look, and you can see it took pretty well. Uh, to the thing I just some of the areas needed to dry and all in all like a pretty easy pretty simple project uh, this this was a like a, a, a I got home from after after work and stuff and started working on this project and knocked this out uh, in one night so pretty uh pretty easy to do and if you only do one layer and you like it like this then then you don't have to do too, too much else I personally like the flat black look so it's worth doing an extra layer of the flat black paint for myself and so that's what I'm going to end up doing. And uh, I mean, I'm curious how they would have came uh, or looked if I did the cream color as well. That would have been a cool option. But flat black it was. And so uh, I kind of, there's a wife in the backdrop you see right there. She's getting the fridge. But basically I just do one uh, layer and you could probably do two, but one layer is all I needed really. And when you dip the brush into the thing, just kind of uh, dab it against the edges of the, the bottle. And then you can just kind of use the edge of the bottle instead of dipping the entire brush in so you don't get too much kind of controls the amount uh, that you have in there now that that parts done I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the flat black you can definitely see it's a big difference and definitely preferable in my opinion because it doesn't have that crazy shine uh, look to it it's just a little bit more subtle and uh, easy going on, on my eyes at least so uh, I definitely like it like this uh, worth buying the flat black like ink uh, or the um, paint for this and you can see a side by side uh, it's definitely definitely cleaner uh, in my opinion, but leave a comment Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys like the glossier look or do you guys like the flat black look as well? Uh, no, no answers wrong. It's just kind of a preference thing 
Um, the, the paint that we had originally on it was a little bit glossy, so I don't know. I, I mean, it works either which way, but I prefer the uh, the black, um, the flat black look to that. So definitely the paint that was worth me buying a larger bottle because uh, I've used that a ton. So uh, again, shout out to Angelus Paint for having some dope prod products. And if you haven't seen all their products on there, man, they have so much stuff. It's just crazy. I went ahead and, and colored the other shoe right here, the flat black as well. And uh, that's kind of it for the, the video. Um, I'm just going to summarize a little bit more. I'm going to show you guys uh, the shoe one more time after I ended up finishing this one. But if you guys like this video, please show the support. Give the video a thumbs up. $150 shoe and customizing it sometimes a little bit risky. But I did this and then I cut the fly wire or the fly, uh, yeah, the fly wire off as well in the next video. And it's fun for me to show you guys these things in case you guys want to be able to do these yourselves or you just like the, the concept or it's kind of taking something that's simple and not doing a super crazy custom but making something kind of like more in the box sort of a custom where it looks more factory-ish I, I think is kind of my point that I wanted to go with but uh, removing the green I think will be a nice adjustment that you guys will like so hopefully you guys will enjoy that follow-up video with the on feed of that one um, thank you again for watching if you watch the entire video a high fives and thumbs up to you guys appreciate you guys catch you guys for some more videos soon peace